So we all know, you know I'm a big translation buff, and I love the new translation secretary, Anthony Fox. We need to get him on the show. We're going to get some higher price interviews. We've been, we're in the process. I'm going to give you a little secret, a little Fowler Show trade secret. We were actually in the process of talking to the HUD secretary <laughs> and trying to get him on the show. So Sean Donovan will be on the show before the end of the year, folks. We're going to make it happen. And hopefully we'll also be able to get Anthony Fox on the show as well. But he announced a plan to require future automobiles to be fixed with technology that will allow them to monitor other vehicles on the road and decrease collisions. Officials say up to 80% of today's accidents could be prevented with equipment that a full report on its research will be released later this month. So basically what it is is that every couple seconds, the car that you're driving will communicate to the cars around it. So boom, 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 sending information and it will receive information from the cars. And so they'll be able to alert you of an accident before it happens, right? It'll be like a Wi-Fi for your car. And a vehicle commuter can alert drivers of impending collisions. Some systems can automatically brake to avoid an accident. It's just, you know, communication. Now, people would argue that this is a little, this might be, this might sort of have some private, you might have some privacy problems with this because like, hey, listen, if all this information is being going from car to car, who else is watching my car's information? But the question we have to ask ourselves is like, do you do, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a scale, like it really is a scale. Do you weigh privacy over safety or safety over privacy? Whichever comes first, but the automotive, automobile, in, the automobile industry, they seem to be on board with this and they are willing to work um, with, the, with the transportation sector to get these goals done. Um, the group says the technology will add about $100, $200 to cost every new car. So it's not gonna be that costly. But it clearly outweighs, the cost definitely outweighs the, the casualties that could result if and when something, your car gets in an accident. So I think it's a good move by the Secretary of Transportation. Let's make sure that our roads are safer and our, you know, it's just a good thing.